Yeah, yeah. We are back in the fucking gym. Beautiful day. Saturday. Um, three o'clock on the dot. So we're probably going to get... Yeah, my fiance's here again. So we're probably going to get like an hour of cardio in and uh, do a little bit of core. And I think we'll call it a day there. I think she might be doing the tanning bed. Here at Edge Fitness, they give you a couple options. There's a hydro bed, uh, some sort of zero gravity massage chair, and then the tanning bed. So you could do it all if you want. But I don't know if we have time for that, all that shenanigans. But what I'm going to do right now is just a little warm up, uh, pretty much just doing box squats. I don't know how many I'll do. Probably lose my balance a few times, might fall. That's okay. So that was 20. Felt pretty good. Not bad for a warm up. And obviously I'm just keeping on the, uh, the hoodie here, trying to induce more sweating. So we got that going for us. Okay, that 20 was a bit harder than the first 20. <sighs> Drinking some lemon shit, hydrating lemon water. It's fantastic. <sighs> God damn it. All right, trying to get another 20 in here. Those last five on the prior set definitely, uh, definitely burned a little bit. Oh, those last two reps literally just kind of felt like partials, and they essentially were partials, but that's not a bad thing. So that being said, I think I'm good on these box squats. That was a solid warm-up. Um, yeah, I don't know necessarily what I'll film for cardio. It might just be like a little snippet, and today's video might just be cut short in comparison, which is cool beans. But... I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll figure it out. My glute and my quad are on fire right now. <laughs> oh, oh, what a beautiful day. All right. All right, gang members. I found her. Okay. We're doing the seated BC Cleta. I don't know how long I'll be on this, but we're already sweating a bit from those box squats, so we're just going to keep up the intensity and uh, see if we get a few miles. Even if we get one, that's sick. So, I'm in fifth gear on this puppy. What gear are you in? Eight. I'm weak. Yeah, you are. Look. Oh, you're in workload eight. Oh, I'm free balling. Oh, 
Okay, this is gonna be hard. I think I do, yeah. But the problem is, when I get too close, I have to bring my... Yep. Just leaning like a cholo. I like it. This is all core though. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna be honest. The, the other bicycle setup is easier. No, I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to find a sweet spot. All right, coach, I've tried it. All right, this is gonna be boring. No, I've, I've done this. I know, I've done that. It's uncomfortable. No, it's uncomfortable. She doesn't listen to me. It's uncomfortable on my hip. Thanks though. Well, it's uncomfortable on my hip if I sit up straight. That hurts all right here. So I can't do that. So, the motto of a lot of my videos too, you do what you can. So if this is working and I just have to go a little bit slower. What? If I was seated, I could. I definitely could. But, I don't know, I'm at a half mile right now. I'm gonna try and finish up a full mile and then I, I think I'm gonna switch bikes. All right, so let's pause this. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes some exercises just don't feel right, and that's fine. Switch it up, find something else, or else you're gonna wanna leave the gym. So, seated bicicleta, like laid back bicicleta, apparently is not gonna work for me. Uh, so I'm gonna hop back on an upright bicycle and uh, see how that feels. It's just the only thing with the, uh, with the seated, the laying down bicycle, it just felt like every time I was bringing that pedal up, I was just putting way too much pressure on my hip. So with that being said, we're going to try out this and, you know, I got a half mile on that machine. Hopefully I get a full mile on this machine. You know, we'll see how it feels. It doesn't really matter. Baby girl found the Stairmaster behind me. So let's try out a quick start with this thing. I'm not going to lie, that feels pretty good. I just don't know how to use this machine, to be honest. All right, increasing resistance to three. Decreasing resistance to two. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. But ultimately, we're just looking for a nice sweat, trying to get the heart rate up, trying to uh, burn myself out without hurting myself. Because cardio, it's difficult as an amputee. It really is. I mean, if you have a prosthetic, you know, things get a little bit easier. But with one leg, man, it's between balance and just leg fatigue, it's, it's tough. So we're trying our best. We're trying our best. We're at 0.2 miles. I'm going to increase the height of this seat. How do I do that? I don't know. Yeah, bro, I don't know how to do that. I would, yeah, I just need the seat to be higher. I don't know how to do it. Ah, ah, see, this is why I can't go to the gym by myself. I need help. I need guidance. I need baby girl. All right. We're at a quarter mile. I'm sweating from my mustache. We're at resistance two. And damn, is this tough or what? That's discipline, you know? Doing the stuff you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. Sometimes that is very challenging. <sighs> Yeah, 
Yo, it's painful on my hip. It honestly is. But you know what? We're going to push through a little bit further and get to half mile. If I got to take breaks, I got to take breaks. That's fine. They didn't build the pyramids in one night, you know? Shit, we don't even know if people did it. <laughs> All right. We're at 0 .44, 0 .45 miles. <clears throat> I'm going to get to 0.5 here. I'm at 0 .48, 0 .49. Uh, that's a half or that's a half mile, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I got to stop recording for a bit. I let my hip cool off. And then I'll probably see if there are another exercise I'm imagining before core, but we'll figure it out. It might be burpees, it might not be. We might go straight in the core, I don't know. But we'll keep you posted. I don't think I had the microphone on. Do I care? No. But I will check to make sure I didn't stop the video. And I didn't, so. I'm just saying, I don't know if you heard me, but this ab machine is quite odd. This swivels and rises. So it's a little strange. Yeah, mine swivels. Does your chair swivel? All right, I have a defective chair. Wow. No, I think that's pitch. That could be pitch. Yeah, I found it. There's two loose bolts on this thing. I need an Allen key. I'm trying to hand tighten these for uh, for the staff. Look at this, man. Oh, man. There are, two, uh, there are two Allen bolts that are loose underneath the seat. I don't think it's going to kill me, but if it does, oh, you got a lawsuit on your hands. And I'll be getting paid, boy. No, I'm kidding. I'm not one of those losers that goes into an establishment, hurts himself, and blames the establishment. If I get hurt, it's my fault. You know, when I lost my leg, my insurance carrier, well, when I lost my leg, it happened on my grandfather's property. And after I lost my leg and, you know, my health insurance carrier had to pay out, you know, one point whatever million dollars, they immediately tried to recoup that money by convincing me to sue my own grandfather, which I, you know, refused to do for, I think, four years in a row. And then they finally stopped. But, you know, it was odd. It was very odd. But, you know, point made. I'm not the type of person to uh, sue an establishment. Unless it's warranted. Unless it's, like, totally deserved. But, like, if I were to get hurt in this machine, you know, I don't, I don't really give a shit. I'll fucking get up and deal with it. That uh, machine's starting to feel a little different. Starting to feel better. I don't know how many reps we've done so far. But it does feel pretty good at higher reps, so I think that might just mean I need to increase the weight to begin with. So it's at 125. 
plus whatever my ass is in the chair. So we're going to pump it up to 145. And uh, I'm watching Baby Girl. Oh, sick. So they have a machine here for uh, obliques. Just might be challenging because there's a leg brace on both sides. And um, we'll see how that feels. I'm going to try it. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. I definitely feel this on my top abs, not so much lower, but I'll have to figure something out to target the lower abs. I don't know what yet. Not a bad workout though. It's not too bad. A couple people in here that are absolute units, total powerhouses. You can appreciate it, you know, as a fellow gym rat. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication. I mean, you think about it when you work out for the first like fucking month, you don't even look like you've, you've been in a gym at all. It takes time, and a lot of it comes down to dieting, I think, but I'm <laughs> not the best at that. All right. So I'm going to burn out on these abs. We have uh, an appointment. She booked me for the uh, the hydro bed. So I got to burn out on these. Send out. I may have just gone wall-eyed there. I don't even know. All right. <laughs> you want to know an interesting fact? So this gym has three industrial-sized fans. It's something you'll pretty much see in like a factory farm, where they're just you know designed to move air. Uh, it's not happening at a very fast pace, but they're spinning, and you know the blades are so big. I mean, it's literally like a circumference of. One fan blade looks like it's eight feet long, so that on the other side and so forth. But each of these fans costs about $10,000. So they got 30K in fans. So if you're trying to justify a gym membership, let me tell you, it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars to set up a gym like this. And even a smaller gym, like you'd need a business loan of 500K. So if you're bitching about a $30 monthly membership, to get your fucking ass in shape, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh. This is feeling good. This is feeling good. All right, I'm gonna get down on the ground here and burn out on obliques. Like heel touches? I don't know. And it's weird too because I don't have a right foot and a right heel to touch. So I, got, I don't really have a lot of time. So I'm going to do that real quick. Probably not film it. Might show you guys the hydro beds, might not. I don't know. We'll see. Hang in there. You know what? I am going to show you these because these are great. Ugh. I think everyone should do this shit, especially if you got two heels to touch. Oh, feeling a nice squeeze on this obliques, and that's what we're looking for. I don't know how many that was, but 
I'm going to do that two more times and then we're hitting the hydro beds. So she's in a zero gravity chair. I'm in a hydro bed. So I'm literally just getting my butt beat with water jets. It's quite interesting. I do like it though. It feels good. Yeah, on my lower back and neck. It just feels like you're sitting in a hot tub without getting wet. It's warm at the moment. It's supposed to get cold. I can't hear anything you're saying. What? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. This is interesting. It's very odd. But it's nice. But yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up today's video. I'll be sitting in this chair for another 10, 12 minutes. Getting beat with water jets. At the moment it's warm, but I was told it gets cool. I want it to be cold. Because I'm already sweating. Really? Wow. She's getting joints cracking over there. Her wrist just cracked. But either way, thanks for following along today. It's not as exciting of a video, I guess, since I was just doing cardio and a bit of core work. Um, but overall, happy Saturday, people. Thanks for following along. Adios. Yep, I could not end the video like that. I just feel like I didn't do enough with core, so I'm back. 85, just doing crunches. I've already done, I think, like 25, so we're just gonna keep on cranking these out. It's not with a ton of weight, but doing slow and controlled. <clears throat> I was feeling pretty rough toward the end. In a good way, don't get me wrong. Oh man. But honestly, I guess the main accomplishment here today was two miles on the bike. That felt pretty good. Felt pretty good to achieve that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it took a lot of breaks, but we still got it in. And that was pretty cool. It's just my hip, bro. It's, ah, when I bring that, that pedal back up, I feel it. So it really just shows me my, my hips are weak and I need to improve on that. Uh, especially once I get stage two osteo integration complete and, you know, I'm 100% relying on this femur, relying on the mu remaining muscles, relying on my hip strength. All of that's gonna come into play like never before. Well, when I had two legs, it certainly came into play every day. But, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Rather, that's what we've been trying to hit. Ah, so I felt pretty good. But this would probably be my last set. I'm pooped. And then I gotta go home and we gotta figure out what we're eating for dinner. Huh. 
Yeah, I'm burnt. So this will probably be it. Reduce the weight. Good shape. Around 70 pounds. We'll do one more step. Oh. Right now I'm feeling like a fatty. Oh. All right. Shoot for like 15 more since we knocked the weight down to 70. And then I'll call it a day. Now we're done. All right. Now I can actually say that this was a poor workout along with cardio and not just cardio in a water bed. Son of a biscuit. All right. I'm going to call it there. Excellent workout. Hope you guys are following along at home. And if you're not, come on. Come on. All right. Peace, guys. Love you.